the effects of those days still linger with you as an adult. Compelling testimony at the state capitol today from people who have been teased and taunted at school. State legislators are tackling the age-old problem of bullying. The discussions follow several high-profile suicides linked to bullying. It's one of the most popular news tips that we get here at Nine News from parents and teachers talking about keeping kids safe at school. Nine News reporter Matt Fleener is joining us. And Matt, this new law would require teachers to get even more training to stop bullying. Mark, teachers would go through training every two years. Not every teacher in the state, but at schools they get money to stop bullying. For some who've been bullied, it's an issue that sticks with them. The effects of those days still linger with you as an adult. You know, at 35 years old, Greer Bailey still hears the taunts of what kids rhymed his first name with in school. I think we're taught as kids to turn the other cheek and walk away. And that's probably, as adults, the, the right thing to do. Kids today can walk away in school, but they're not far from their phones or their computers, where the bullying follows them home. Now their tormentors are available to them or responding to them in their own home, and it's easy to ask parents to pull the plug on the computer, but at the same time, their su social support network is also online. So state lawmakers are trying to toughen the law, requiring schools to keep an online database of bullying incidents and train teachers every two years to see the warning signs in school and online. That you do these things that are in the bill if you apply for a grant to support um, the services and to get more training for teachers. There are already some programs in place. Jefferson County Schools adopted a safe to tell texting program that allows kids to give anonymous tips about violence and bullying. Some think that's enough, saying a new state law would be too intrusive. The way this law is written, I feel as it would inhibit free speech and the exchange of ideas. But for others who've been on the other end of the taunt. Kids outside the civil and the criminal arena should be held accountable. Now the bill passed its first hearing today, 9 to 4. The sponsors say this training and extra requirements for schools would not cut into education funding. It would all be dependent on private donations from organizations and individuals. Mark? All right, Matt Fleener reporting. Thanks, Matt. The bill's sponsors point to a survey from 2008 that says 60% of parents in Colorado believe bullying is the top problem for their children at school. The First Family today also focused on bullying. The President and First Lady posted a Facebook message asking for help to stop bullying. Beginning tomorrow morning, they will host an online White House conference on bullying prevention. They're asking parents, teachers, students, community leaders, and others to join a live online chat discussion with bullying experts.